see how to predict images with vertex ai so today we are going to set up our google cloud project to use vertex ai then create a cloud storage bucket and copy image files to use for training and auto ml image classification model now today we are going to set up our project and environment and second we are going to creating an image classification data set and importing images and third we are going to training an auto ml image classification model and fourth we are going to deploying a model to an endpoint and send a prediction and finally we are going to cleaning of cleaning up your project so finally we are going to delete each and everything so first we are going to start the lab let's start the lab friends just a second yeah so this is a gcp console so go to the navigation menu click the navigation menu we need to select our project then i am selecting our project and here we need to go to that uh, vertex ai we need to select vertex ai artificial intelligence so i am going uh, artificial intelligence here vertex ai just click dashboard here and now we need to enable the vertex ai api so here we have the region so as per our uh, requirement we can select the nearest region so now the api has been enabled successfully now we can get started with the vertex a ai so now you can select your region i am selecting as us central one now i am going to create a data set so we can, here also we can select the region and uh, now i am selecting as us central one and now i am going to create a data set just uh, enter the name as per your requirement so we can use up to 128 characters so i am giving as flower 123 and uh, here we have uh, we need to select the region and uh, here uh, i am clicking create now so now i am creating it let's wait for it friends yes i have created a uh, data set successfully so I have created the data set successfully. Now we need to uh, we need to select this uh, flower one two three and select import files from the cloud storage. And here we need to update the storage cloud storage bucket. So I am going to copy this uh, cloud storage bucket. The list and image URL in cloud storage. I am copying this cloud samples data AI platform flowers CSV. So I am I am giving this uh, import file path here, and next it will be uh, showing the check uh, mark like uh, green color a tick mark it's there and click continue here. Now it is import in progress. This can take several minutes or more. We will be email once processing completes. So I am going to show that email friends. It will take more than one hour friends. So so this is the cloud sample i have given in the presentation you can verify it later this is the sample then you will receive like that only this email vertex ai finished importing data into data set floor 123 so hello vertex ai customer we will receive an email from the google cloud ai team vertex ai so you can see the operation state has succeeded so now i am going with the uh, next level so it's still import in progress it will be taking on our friends so that's what i am making uh, four videos i mean splitter videos so so you will be seeing like this only the flower uh, the, now the status is showing running and uh, now you need to click this flower one two three we need to click the data set and here it will be opening here and here right side we have that uh, uh, yeah the image will be like that then right side click try new model now we need to select this auto ml and uh, click continue here and next i am going to check this advanced option just click continue here and here we need to give the maximum node hours i am giving us eight estimated com completion date so then we need to click this start training now i have clicked the start training and let's wait for it friends so it will be taking uh, so much time training jobs and meta models right side it's showing training model so then we need to wait for a, a, at least one hour then you will get the email automated email so like that only you will receive an email like this only 
vertex ai finished training model so you will be receiving this email vertex ai finished training model plar123 then operation status succeeded from our google cloud ai team we will be receiving this email vertex ai finished training model so then i am going to do the remaining steps so it will be taking one hour one hour friends so that's what i am splitting this video okay then next what we need to right side you can see friends training jobs and models it's showing us uh, right right side it's showing us uh, check uh, green color check mark and it's running right now it's completed then we need to go to the models and select this model so left side models we have clicked and click this model and it is opening now now we need to click this deploy and test and uh, next we need to click this deploy to endpoint here we need to give the endpoint name as per our requirement i am giving this flower hyphen n flower hyphen predict predict i am giving the name as like this endpoint name whatever name you can give it so as per our uh, need you can give the name i am giving as flower hyphen endpoint then i am going to update this i am going to click this model settings now i am giving the number of node as one compute node as one i am giving and just click deploy so now creating this endpoint floor hyphen predict so it is creating now it will also take uh, some time friends so we need to wait for a long time at least uh, half an hour or one hour it will take it will be taking several minutes or so we need to wait for it then yes after that we will be receiving like this email hello uh, vertex a customer and uh, ai finished creating this endpoint flower predict like that we will be receiving an e email from google cloud team google cloud ai team then we will see the remaining steps so deploy team so it will be look like that only friends so it is showing like that then i am going to open one more video and uh, now you can see friends it is uh, it has been deployed huh? right now the flower predict it has been deployed right now you can see here it, it has been deployed right so next what we need to do we need to click this Im upload image and i am going to upload an image so this is an image like a sunflower so it looks like a sunflower so i am uploading this image let's wait for it we need to under the test our model we need to upload an image whatever image you can upload it friends right now for this testing training purpose i have uploaded so right side you can see the sunflower so here only we need to upload image like that okay cancel it i am okay right side you can see friends sunflowers it's showing like uh, 0.161 so if it is a exact sunflower image if we are uploading then under the sunflowers it will be showing like uh, uh, 0.800 something like that so it looked like sunflowers but even though yeah uh, dantilan like that okay 0.8 on it it's showing okay now what we are going to do means we have done the lab so now we are going to delete each and everything now i am going to click this data set i have uh, yeah models uh, let me try to delete this model first so just select this model here i we don't have any options to delete we have the resume training only okay then i am not going to do anything then we will go to the data sets right now just click the data set then click this and select this and uh, delete this data set flower one two three data set has been deleted successfully and now i am going to uh, delete these models i am going to try to delete these models let's see friends so going to uh, we need to delete each and everything right so just i am going to delete this model so i am trying it again i am i am going to trying it again uh, three dots i am clicking this and uh, yeah we have the one option only resume training only okay so what we are going to do means i am going to i am not going to do anything just escape it here and uh, i am going to now we have successfully deleted the data sets already we have deleted the data sets we have you have not created any data sets in this project okay fine and i am going to open our documentation let's wait for it so we need to do each and everything right so i am going to open the documentation okay so what i am going to do means i am going to delete sorry i am going to delete it now so how to delete so opening dashboard i am going okay data sets models just click the 
sorry just click the endpoints here and uh, here we need to select this and we don't have the delete option here see here we don't have the delete options in endpoints i'm going to delete this endpoint but uh, uh, there is no option so just i'm clicking this endpoint here we have the option delete option here right you can see right side we have the delete option september 1 2020 here we have so undeploy model from uh, endpoint so undeployed now it will be taking uh, at least one minute only okay we have successfully undeployed now now i am going to try to delete this uh, endpoints now whether we will see friends it is coming or not yeah it's coming now remove the endpoints now i have successfully deleted the endpoint now i am going to try to delete this model so we have successfully deleted uh, data set and now we are going to try to delete the model so just now you can see friends now the delete model it, it came now now i am deleting this model and uh, i think we have successfully deleted each and everything data sets we have deleted it and uh, next one is we need to delete the cloud storage bucket so cloud cell in occurs the no charges so we need to delete our cloud storage bucket so we can use either this command gsutil command or we can go with the cloud console also friends so i am going with cloud console now and i am going to the cloud storage bucket i am going to delete the cloud storage bucket so just go to the cloud storage bucket now just select this one and uh, delete this option okay just click delete and click delete now we are deleting this bucket on bucket we have successfully deleted the buckets we have successfully deleted the bucket and uh, yeah it's taking some time at, at least it will take two minutes time for deleting this bucket cloud ai platform bucket it will be deleted friends let's wait for it okay then this is the image friends i will give the screenshot i mean you can take the screenshot or else you can take some other image from google you can upload the image from google friends so no need to upload the same image whatever image you can upload so now i am you can see cloud storage has been bucket has been deleted successfully now we will check in the home page dashboard under the resources whether we have successfully deleted or not just we will check it again i am going to click this navigation menu just click the home page and uh, here uh, in the dashboard google dashboard google cloud dashboard i am going to check under the resources there are no resources the project has no resources so we have successfully removed deleted everything right okay thanks a lot friends uh, thanks a lot have a great day if you are not subscribed my youtube channel you can subscribe my youtube channel so that it will motivate me to upload more videos about the google cloud platform thanks a lot have a great day bye bye